Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So today we are going to write a cell script which will help us to generate the CPU load alert. Means if in our system the load of CPU is really high, we are going to generate a message for the same. Few things I want to explain before writing this complete cell script. So first thing is how CPU load is calculated, what is CPU core and how load average is calculated. So first let us understand what is CPU core. So when you go and buy a system, what happens? This system will have a particular processor. It can be i5, i7, i9 or even older processor. Now in the processors, one, there is one big processor and in that multiple subsections of processor is there which helps to handle the tasks independently. Like a system can have 4 CPU core, 8 CPU core, 24 CPU core. So as many CPU cores are in our system, the processing of that system will be that much higher. So if we talk how load average is calculated, so one CPU is assumed 100% utilized if its load average value is 1. So if you have 8 CPU cores in your system, that means if the load average value is 8, that means your C all the CPU is occupied handling at least one task. That means your CPU utilization is already 100%. So if in your system the CPU load is more than 100%, that means lot of tasks which are still waiting for their opportunity to get executed. So if you want to generate the CPU load alert, you should make sure that if you have suppose 15 CPU core, load average greater than 15 is really higher. So you should be generating alert on basis of that. So now let us understand this practically. So this is our Linux system. Right now there is a command to see load that is top command. So when you run the top command, you see here at the top that is load average. So this load average is having three values, 0 0.11, 0 0.22 and 0 0.50. What are, the, what are these three different values? So the first value is load average last one minute. Second value is load average last five minutes. And third value is load average last 15 minutes. So as per our case, let us generate load average value. If it is greater than one, means 100% of my CPU is utilized because this machine is having only one CPU core. This means my CPU load is higher. So I want to generate alert on basis of this value. So if this value is crossing more than one, this means our system is over occupied. So now let us go to a script and see how exactly it's going to work for us. Okay, so we have very simple script. Let us see what we are doing. First line is cbang line. And after that, echo just a message we are printing that CPU load average value check. So this will simply print a message. Now there is a variable called load. And in this we are getting this some complicated expressions you are seeing. So let us first learn what exactly this expression means and then we'll execute this script. So first line is top. Top you already know that top gives us the complete details like all, all the user det details, what all sessions, all the different information but we don't need all these informations. So let us see how we can see multiple options associated to top command. So there is a command in Linux called man. Man means it will show you the manual related to that command and then you can type top. So now I scroll down and let us see the options. So lot of details you can see. So here is one option called B, minus B. What this minus B is doing? A start top in batch mode, which could be useful for sending output from top to other program or to a file. In this mode, top will not accept input and run until the iterations limit you have to set with minus N command. So this means, in top command, you want to redirect the output or send to some file or you tell that how many iterations means how many times you want to show the top, top output. You can use 
hyphen b n hyphen n option so let us see what is n n is number of iterations limit as n so specify the maximum number of iterations or frame top should pro produce before ending so right now when you are running top command it is running continuously but suppose you want to run it one time and want to get the output then what we will do hyphen b n and 1 value of n is 1 so now let us see so what we are going to do hyphen b n and we are doing it one time so now let us see you got one time output and you see a screen is exited here in this what you want to do you want to see or grip load value so load you can grip so now what you see only one line is coming for us so till this i hope it is clear top hyphen b n means only one time iteration and then we are redirecting this output and finding the load if which line is having load so now in this load average we got three values we need this value itself so how we can get this value now so now let us see our script again so if you see now next what we are doing awk command you already know that awk command can help us to get a particular column if you, you want to get but with awk we are using some complicated printf what is exactly printf let us understand it first so printf is something same like in c or c plus plus you have used so what we are telling we are telling awk, awk it and then we are telling printf print the value percentage do, uh, point 0.2 f means only last two floating digits like if your load average value is coming so only last two floating digits till only last two floating digit we want to print and you are ignoring uh, having the tab tab separated and then new lines and here very important thing is dollar nf minus minus two so i have explained you in previous sessions that if you are writing dollar and this a small bracket this means what is the actual meaning of the command that you will be getting here as a output so nf is called number of field like if you want to get the particular field so you are telling nf minus 2 what exactly this means that from the last field you are telling that nf minus 2 means this field value you want to get here so once nf hyphen 2 you are getting this field value then this will this is having percentage attached here here you have seen that we have attached percentage to it so what i am telling i am telling that cut hyphen d means cut and what should be the delimiter percentage so remove the percentage and give me the first field so what it will give as the first field 0 dot 0 0 so this is we are redirecting this output into load variable and after that we are telling just message uh, echo dollar load now next conditions we are starting here is if dollar load percentage dot star means this load value is floating right so if it is having any floating numbers just compare with or check it if it's greater than one one means 100 percent of cpu is utilized then you just print a message echo cpu load is very high and actual value of load else just you can print load is normal so now what we can do we can just change the permissions so how to change the permission permission we can change ch more plus x and then cpu load dot sh and after that you can execute dot slash cpu load dot sh so what you can see here that load is right now normal you don't have very high value of load now what exactly you want you want when the load value is half then how it should print a message so there is a command which i am using to increase the cpu load in my system so we can use the same command i will explain what this command is doing so what i am telling 
cat means open a file dev0 dev slash dev0 means it's infinite size file and just send it to dev null so when you are opening this file what exactly it is doing it is going in the infinite loop and it's trying to open again and again so what is happening your cpu load will start increasing so now i started this command into the backend and let us monitor our cpu load so you can see load average started increasing so it's already 0.42 let us wait a second now you see 0.55 so slowly it will start increasing and if you see the top command is the cat command which we are running so it's already consuming 89 percent of the cpu here you can see slowly this value will cross more than 100 and then we'll again run our script and we'll see what is happening to our script once the load is more than 100 percent so now you see 89 percent of the load is already utilized in the system now it's 90 percent so it has already crossed the value of one so now let us run our script and see what is happening so now when you will run the script what you can see cpu load is very high and the value is actual value is 1.09 so actual value of load you got and you can see the message clearly like cpu load is very high so this was a script which is used to give us the actual value of load and accordingly if you want to send an email just you can redirect this output and send over the email so that's it about today's video guys thank you so much for giving your valuable time thank you